chop down a Christmas tree with this Assassin's Creed tomahawk and add some ho ho halo ornaments. I'm Jake and this is episode number five of Game Loot. Keep sprucing up your tree with these Minecraft and Zelda decorations, then illuminate it with some companion cube string lights and top it off with a DIY light up Mario Starman tree topper by Scooch Maru. Start your present giving off with a bang with this limited edition Team Fortress 2 sniper statue by Gaming Heads. They sell other incredible figurines like the Half-Life Headcrab Zombie, the turret from Portal with built-in motion sensor, you are. and the tank from Left 4 Dead 2. For the retro collector, head over to TimeWalkGames.com where you can get Super Nintendo cartridges that were never released in North America, like Back to the Future 2 and a few that never even came out like Star Fox 2. The game was supposedly finished, but Nintendo withheld its release because of their impending next-gen system, the N64, which ended up not going on sale until one and a half years after Star Fox 2 was scheduled to come out. But let's get a little more modern with these NES cartridges from 72 pins that bring together the past and the present to create this. It gets cold in the winter, so put on your Assassin's Creed hooded scarf, get under the covers of your Donkey Kong blanket, and write to Santa and your Sega-inspired moleskin with these awesome video game English pencil sets that immortalize some of gaming's greatest gaffes. All your days are blown to us. Sharpen those pencils with your Darksiders 2 Death Scythe that will only run you $849.99, and heck, might as well buy this $50,000 Pokey Dex. Then put your combustible lemon coffee mug on your brand new $6,000 arcade coffee table that comes loaded with more than 100 games. Hooray! But if you really want to impress that special someone, make them a Pokemon bento box for holiday dinner, give them these awesome portal earrings, and then take them on holiday to show off that Game Boy swimsuit. Light your Jigglypuff scented candle and turn off your Legend of Zelda Triforce lamp using your Power Up Arcade light switch to set the mood. If things start to heat up too quickly, it might be because of your Nintendo Zapper laser gun. This DIY project lets you turn your old zapper into a seriously strong laser. It can light objects on fire and burn through others, but goggles are required because it could make you blind which would destroy your chances of seeing these awesome video game prints at Gallery 1988. Instead of something for your wall, let's get something for your floor. Sphero. Sphero is a robotic ball that you control entirely using your iPhone or Android device. You can tilt, touch or swing your device to make Sphero move and it will even follow the path of shapes you draw. There are numerous apps available for Sphero that turn it into an augmented reality gaming experience. Wrap all these gifts up with some Minecraft wrapping paper and remind yourself to subscribe to Vsauce 3 with some Tetris sticky notes. Links to everything can be found in the description below. I'm Jake and as always, thanks for watching.